Hello, so today I'm going to be trying a slightly different style of video, and I apologize for any background noise, but uh, obviously I am because I'm speaking. But today I'm going to be trying to make a belt buckle from a horseshoe, and this is the manufactured belt buckle I'm going to be basing it around. And uh, to get started here, I'm going to flatten out this horseshoe, let's straighten it out, and then draw it out into roughly the dimensions of this belt buckle. Um, in one long piece, um, I'm going to try to make the, it's not going to look exactly like this belt buckle. I'm just using it for the dimensions. It's going to be thicker around the top, sort of like a classic Western looking belt buckle. And then I'm just going to be using this first piece to make these three sides. And then I'll show you how to make, or I'll show you making the piece here that the uh, pin actually rotates around and the pin itself later in the video. So I'll get through that. <laughs> to pause and speak about this but I did get film of me making it so this is where the progress is at now I drew it out and then I bent one side over at a 90 degree angle then I used a piece of square tubing to bend the other side over and make sure it was wide enough and then these tails were probably about this long and I bent them over at 90 degrees in a vise then I put a nail in here but you could use any sort of pin, like rounded pin. And I'm gonna need to straighten it, but uh, then so nails in here and these are 90 and you just fold them over and hammer them out. And if I was a more experienced blacksmith, I could forge weld these into here, or I, they don't even need to be welded. I could have just hammered it in neater, but I didn't think about it and use my three pound hammer and just, just didn't, wasn't as careful as I should have been. But this is where it's at now. I'm gonna straighten it up and just try to make this look a little bit neater. Um, and then I'm gonna cut these off and grind them so that the ends are nice here. And then I will take a piece of a failed project that's over there and I will make this pin. I'm also gonna use the side of a chisel to make that little notch in the top where the pin will lie. So, uh, yeah.
mostly finished with this all i got the pin on and then i mostly just ground and sanded it down to where it is now uh one thing i did have to do with this pin also unfortunately i did not get much footage of this whole last few steps but this pin did come out because i didn't forge it in well like you saw in the last update uh so i ended up just welding it on uh like mig welding it onto the this the horseshoe shape part and then uh i and then i just sort of forged those to make it look a little bit better the welds look better and then grounded them down and a ton uh otherwise it's I, I think it turned out pretty well. This is a li maybe a little too loose, and I haven't tested it yet on an actual belt, so I'm a bit concerned about this part here. I also used a little stamp to put a little M maker's mark on it. Uh, now I'm just gonna put it in ferric acid to make it a nice darker color, uh, and then it should be done. So here's the final product, how it turned out, and uh, I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, definitely happy with it for my first try. Uh, the ferric acid did not turn out the way I wanted it to. In the future, I'll probably just polish the sanded metal. And as far as comparing to what I was trying to replicate, well, not completely replicate, but what I based off the dimensions, it's obviously much wider, but height-wise, it's almost spot on, which i'm happy with and uh functionally the this this dimension matters a lot more than this um in the future i'm gonna try to experiment with some different mechanisms belt buckles more like this with the loop on the back and then just a pin to hold it and a combination of that and a more traditional belt buckle but otherwise the belt buckle works i'm semi happy with it Please like, comment what you think I should do next, what videos you might want to see, and subscribe if you think I've earned it.